What do you call this type of adapter in your shop? I asked that question this week and there were some surprising answers. You can be a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1 a month. Thank you so much to the folks whose names are on the screen right now for making this possible. By far the most common name for this adapter is the one that I've known it as, which is a Z cable. I honestly thought Whirlwind used to call theirs that as well. Maybe they did, but the ones they sell currently are listed on their website as the YX2F2M adapter. I'm making one up here today to show you just how easy it is, and I'm using genuine Neutrik XLR connectors as usual. This is not a sponsored video, though Neutrik has sent some gear over in the past for videos, and that's always a huge privilege. I always make sure to have their XLR ends in stock and buy them at full price. So to make the example I've got here, we just need four connectors and three pieces of cable. They can be whatever length you want. And for the connectors, we need two plugs and two sockets. You can start either way, but here I'm starting with a socket. Then I'm gonna connect that over to a plug and then with another cable over to the next socket and then finally to the next plug. So we only have two connections there where we double up. Hmm? All right, if you're not up to speed on the discussions that have been happening in the industry lately, there is a growing effort to modernize a lot of the language we use to describe things that we talk about a lot. And connectors are one of them. In this video, I'm using plug and socket or pin and socket or pin and receptacle. Those are all familiar terms. NEMA has been using them for quite some time now for all the electrical connections we already use in the industry. And that seems to be the direction that we're going to be heading with industry specific language, but there'll be some resources linked below so you can get up to speed on those changes. So talking about those different types of connectors, of course, you can wire these up with completely different connectors depending on what you need to do. So you can definitely get creative with these. As I build this one up, let's take a look at some of the answers that you sent in about what you call these types of adapters, though. A few people also said they've referred to them as W cables. Um, so I've never heard that before. I've never heard of a W cable, but that's interesting and seems to be coming from folks in Europe or the UK specifically, maybe. Could certainly be wrong on that though. We've got a user here saying we call them X leads. And so again, I'm gonna assume that you're in the UK, but if you put a 6.5 jack on them, so that'd be quarter inch uh, for us here in the States as well, we call them Z leads. So they are saying they would refer to these as an X lead the way I have it made up. But if you were to put a quarter inch jack somewhere on this, it would turn it into a Z lead in their shop. So that's super interesting. Looks like they might have a bigger variety of these types of cables in their shop than the shops that I've worked for in the past. So that's pretty cool. Uh, looks like somebody here else is calling, maybe this is, they're joking, um, they call it an infinity cable because when you connect them, it forms an infinite loop, okay? Uh, if you connect the last two connectors on the ends, it's a star or X split, extra redundancy. That's an interesting take on that. Uh, Z split, dual Y, um, an X cable, another vote for that. Let's see, a W cord, there's another W cord whole bunch more Z cable, Z adapters, dual Y. So we've got a bunch of people saying double Y, an X cable, a W cable, a Z cable, um, output split patch cable. So production sound Texas, not into the whole brevity thing there, but uh, that's a XLR jumper. Um, I think a lot of things could be called that. And you can definitely, if you're in a pinch, that's why I like these things because stretched out long from input to output, uh, they make a pretty good jumper if you need to go, especially from one rack to another and your one foot or, uh, you know, two foot jumpers aren't making it. This can be a little more reach. Uh, Z cable, the best cable. I agree. These are probably the best adapter to keep in your kit if you're trying to travel light because you can use them so many different ways. And that kind of leads us to explaining to a few folks who message saying, hey, I've seen these, but I'm not really sure what they're used for. Um, well, what are they used for? So we all have seen Y cables that go in both directions, right? You've got ones that split and ones that combine. So that's a couple things that you need to carry if you want to have all your bases covered, but then you've also got turnarounds, right? 
So we've got both directions, plug and socket turnarounds that we normally carry in our kits as well. And making up a Z cable or a few of these, you really want more than one, can do all of those. So this cable can split, it can combine, and it can turn around in either direction. And it can also be used as a patch cable. It's a really, really useful problem solving tool without having to dig around for just the right type or length of cable or turnaround or adapter. So that's the general reason why these are so popular. It's because you can carry a handful of these that you can make yourself out of very basic materials and eliminate the need to carry a whole bunch of other uh, very specific adapters. This is just kind of a general adapter. I'm sure some folks will have questions about the wiring and we're just wiring these in parallel. So pin one gets connected to pin one all the way through as does pin two and pin three. And I choose to connect the shell to pin one on both plug ends also. So that's my favorite adapter and I hope you'll make some for your work box or Pelican case and tell me how they work out for you after you've tried them. I also hope that the point isn't lost here, that even if you know something by one name all your life, it can be interesting to hear other people's perspectives and to learn a new way to look at things in the future. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.